So Arlo is eating baby food now. That's what I was told to give him. I gave him a teeny tiny little pill to help him with his nausea. And I'm like, you know, I really don't want to give him the rest of this. And I didn't give him any of that other stuff that was supposed to prevent his diarrhea. I looked up these medications and one of the side effects of the anti-diarrhea medication is, you're never gonna believe this, diarrhea. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Doesn't that kind of remind you of this, this thing that they're telling us to, to take? Where they're like, yeah, one of the side effects is that you get the thing that you're told this thing is supposed to keep you from getting. Yeah, that, that's, that's one of the side effects. What, one of the other side effects is that all of your pre-existing conditions are gonna come up to the surface. That's an unfortunate side effect. And then another side effect is that all the people that advocate for it, are gonna, they're going to completely negate all this information. And if anybody is seriously injured, or God forbid they die, they're not going to talk about it because they're not going to care because it conflicts with their personal narrative, okay? It's just a side effect. Now, I've always said this about uh, regular ass medication. I've said if the side effects are worse than whatever you're actually dealing with that made you take it in the first place. Oh my God. I don't know what to do, Vortex. For now. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand why you would want to be on something that, look at this, Arlo did that shit. <laughs> he fucking ate my work shirt. <laughs> No wonder you get sick. Cause he does shit like that. It's a cat thing, I guess. They just get into whatever they can find. Paisley does it too, but she doesn't do it as bad. But um I think I think what it is, though, I think people just wanna fit in. I think that's what, what it, it's really about. Because when I bring this to people's attention, it's like they don't even hear me. So, it's like, all this stuff that people are bitching about right now, not, not to toot this horn over here, honkity honk, but like, I've had to deal with this from society for quite some time now. Because I've tried to educate people about psychiatric medication and nobody wants to listen to that. So why, why would you be surprised that, that people that are willing to, to take pills that like don't actually solve their problem and just give them even more problems, like they screw up their uh, urinary tract and they give them tremors and their sexual appetite is considerably lower. I mean, I actually talked to a comic recently who said that the reason why she watches pornography is because she's on SSRIs. And of course she didn't say that. She said an antidepressant. 
But I, I know. I know those side effects. I've been on that shit. That's what it does. She said she needed a visual in order to stimulate her. And you see how all these things work together? And then people are like, why do you have such a problem with it? Because of the culture. Stony? I don't call these people stony. Because they're, they're usually a bunch of stoners that like just don't care about anything. Yeah, that's what happens when you smoke too much pot. Is that you just are so apathetic about what happens to the world. And you shouldn't be. I'm not trying to knock potheads. I used to be a pothead, okay? But that is like kind of a, a commonality. Because they're just like, well, what gives? Like, what do, you, what do you care so much? You should care about what happens to other people. You should care about what happens to the world around you. You live in the world! Are you retarded? Yes. Yes. You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer it for you. 